I have the honor today of introducing Chuck Zastro. Chuck Zastro is a Maritime facu faculty at the University of Wisconsin Whitewater, where he started the undergraduate social work program. And he was also faculty member at George Williams of Aurora University. I'm Sarah Hessenauer. I have uh, a doctorate in social work, and I'm currently the chair and a faculty member at the University of Wisconsin Whitewater. So Chuck, I would like to now to talk about the Social Work with Groups textbook and you know, describe the textbook and explain why an instructor would want to adopt this textbook. Thank you, Sarah. Um, social Work with Groups, Comprehensive Practice and Self-Care is kind of a mouthful, but I'll get into uh, the various aspects of that as we move along here. Let me talk a bit about what inspired me to uh, write this textbook. In 1983, I began for the first time to teach a course in social work with groups. I prepared a lot of lectures and, on social work with groups and started giving those lectures when the semester began. I noticed that the students weren't particularly thrilled with what was going on in the classroom. At the middle of the third week, a student stayed after class and she said to me, Dr. Zastro, I don't quite know how to say this and I hope this is not going to affect my final grade, but I and a number of students in the class don't believe that you can teach a course on social work with groups by just lectures. What you need to do is more of a laboratory approach. Get students involved in presenting theoretical material and in then engaging the students in the class in exercises that incorporate that theoretical material. <coughs> I thought about this and at the next class session I said to the students, you know this student has come up to me and said maybe this course isn't really teaching you how to run groups. Um, would you be interested in a revision of this course? where students would take turns uh, leading the other students in groups. Um, the class then becomes a laboratory for teaching students how to lead groups. You'd present theoretical material connected with groups and also lead the students in some exercises. Uh, this proved to be quite useful. Um, I, taught the course for three, four semesters after that and decided, hey, maybe this approach would work well as a textbook that other instructors could use um, in teaching students how to lead groups. So why would somebody want to choose your book over a different book? Well, I, I think that it uh, does use a laboratory approach. It uses the work text approach. Um, the text also covers um, all the material that one needs to know about uh, social work with groups. And in addition, it's part of the empowerment series of Cengage, where the material is geared to 2015 EPAS, the Educational Policy and Accreditation Standards of the Council on Social Work Education. Uh, faculty and programs in the MSW uh, courses and in BSW courses can use the textbook to document that uh, appropriate content is being covered in social work with groups. Uh, there's chapters on group development theories, leadership theories, how social work, group work is part of social work practice. There's a chapter on developing norms and, and uh, values in groups. There's a chapter on task groups, leadership groups, treatment groups, and there's chapters on evaluating and, ter and terminating uh, a group. Um, and also there's a major focus on self-care. It has be become increasingly obvious in social work that in order for social workers to be of help to others, they first need to take care of themselves. 
Um, so there are a total of 130 strategies that social work students can use to improve their psychological well-being, their emotional well-being, their social well-being, and their cognitive well-being. Interestingly, these self-care strategies are precisely the strategies that social workers also need to convey to, the, to their clients so that clients can improve on their psychological well-being, emotional well-being, cognitive well-being, and uh, physiological development. Um, as I indicated, this text does incorporate the content that is desired by Council on Social Work Education on, uh, on, uh, on uh, social work with groups. Also, uh, this text is very useful because it presents a number of self-care strategies, like how to guide oneself in, in mindfulness, uh, self-care relaxation techniques, uh, how to change an unwanted emotion, how to uh, deal with dysfunctional behaviors like gambling addiction or an addiction to alcohol and other drugs. Um, for a variety of reasons, I think this is a very useful textbook for students and for social work practitioners. Would you like to say anything that's new with the 10th edition? Yeah, the, uh, we do incorporate the material on EPAS. We have a heavy focus on, um, on the self-care strategies. And for the first time uh, for this revision, I asked Dr. Sarah Hessenhauer to uh, be a co-author. She has added immensely to updating the chapters, to adding content on online therapy, on social media, on technology and social work, and on a variety of other areas. Um, I very much appreciate Dr. Hessenhauer. She got her doctorate from Loyola University. She's chair of the social work department at the University of Wisconsin at Whitewater, and she has proven to be an excellent writer. Well, thank you, and I'm really happy to have joined in the process of helping you with the Social Work with Group books. Um, so we really encourage you all to take a look at our books and hopefully adopt them for your classrooms. Thank you for your time.